regarding Zoe. And yes, I'm very familiar with uh, Tim Spector, who did some of those uh, UK twin studies showing that genetics determines to a large extent the kind of bacteria that colonize the gut. Uh, Tim Spector's group also published a paper. I, uh, just in the interest of time, I didn't show it. It was published in Nature Medicine, uh, looking at the combination of genetics and the microbiome. Uh, and interestingly, they conclude that the microbiome is more important because this Zoe program that they've launched is all about microbiome testing. But if you actually look at their data in that Nature Medicine paper, looking at blood glucose, genetics is a much stronger predictor than the microbiome. Again, I, I wish if I knew that you're going to ask this question, I would have shown a slide uh, just on that to show that, again, as much as we'd like to think the microbiome is, is that important, genetics is actually a stronger predictor. There's so much room, I think, for so many different types of companies in this field of personalized nutrition. I don't want to come out as you know saying that one is better than the other, even though we all know, of course, genetics is more important. Um, but I think there could be complementarity because while I think the science shows that genetics is the most reliable for giving advice, these other measures are best to be used for tracking changes and monitoring improvements in health, whether you're looking at improvements in gut health or uh, looking at urinary metabolites to see that in fact, you're seeing improvements in kidney health or heart health. Uh, the same thing with these epigenetic, uh, these biological clocks, right? Um, they tell us something about your current status. They, we don't really know how we can use them to make recommendations. That's where we can use host genetics, but then we can do these other things to measure changes in time to see how we can improve our health and measure them with those indicators. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find it insightful, I invite you to leave a comment below and share it with someone who may find it interesting. Don't forget to explore the video description for more valuable content. There, you'll find a link to access my free webinar on Epi Nutrition, a groundbreaking health paradigm I teach in my university courses. Join me to explore how nutrition can optimize gene expression. Thank you for watching and being a part of this vibrant community.